Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 25th, 2021. So as we wind down this week, it seems like we have a little bit of fear dropping out of the market. We had the VIX pull back yesterday. We had fears of inflation starting to pull back yesterday and the market once again surged higher towards resistance levels. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here today. I truly appreciate those who watch and support the channel. Um, it means the world to me and I can't even, I can't even tell you how much, um, I am surprised that this kind of content finds, uh, has found a little bit of traction. Thank you so much, everyone. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. And let's take a look here at the Dow. Now, the Dow still has some challenges um, that we need to be considering here in the chart. Let's notice that right here, we still have that bit of a resistance area. And we're trying to gap up this morning to challenge that area once again to see whether or not we can push on through. Now, what I want to point out to everyone is we don't want to forget how dramatic this um, chart can move, how quickly this chart can move. Just remember that right over here between in the last seven days, last seven days of trading, the Dow has covered nearly 2,000 points from top to bottom and back to top. So kind of keep that in mind. Obviously, a whole lot bigger range if we add in the rest of that volatility that we've seen here. So what we want to consider is the possibility, and hopefully it is a not a major possibility, but a possibility that we could have bears up here entrenched to defend this price level. Now a lot is going to be determined by um, the data that we get today in earnings and, and economic data and things coming out, whether or not we push through or not. But watch that closely right there. One of the things we don't want to be doing, we don't want to be chasing stocks at or near price resistance levels. It's really easy to get caught up in the enthusiasm and be, okay, I've waited, I've waited, and now I want to jump on this bandwagon, and we jump on the bag bandwagon right before we run in or stumble a little bit and pull back. So just also consider after um, nearly a thousand point rise, and it, it'll be over a thousand this morning on the gap up, a thousand point rally, a rest of consolidation or pullback would not be out of the question. So just kind of keep that in mind as you're planning your day forward. Trend in the Dow continues to remain bullish. We're holding up, we held at our 50 day moving average, and there's no reason to believe there's not the possibility that we could attack all time highs here in this chart. But we also cannot rule out that possibility that we get another attack or an attempt um, from the bear. So just watch that closely. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now SPY enjoyed a really strong day yesterday, pushed up by tech. Now remember the big tech giants, seven tech giants, are 40% of the S&P 500. And um, they surged up strongly yesterday and that pushed the SPY right through some resistance levels. I was watching this level right in here and was relatively concerned that we might not be able to break up through there. And we did, we pushed right up through that level and now we're trying to surge up this morning. So let's take note that the SPY is approaching all-time highs, that we are within striking distance of those all-time highs in the SPY. Now the question is going to become, will this um, rejection of the high up here be considered um, at this time or will we be able to push right on through? If we have some bears up in this region up here, um, that could be an interesting thought. Now keep in mind, we have rallied an awful lot 
in the last four days of trading and trying to gap a little bit higher this morning. So it is entirely possible that a rest or consolidation after breaking through that resistance may be required um, to prove that we can hold those areas of, of support. We are getting kind of stretched out here in the short term, so watch that closely. Now, I don't want to rule out that possibility. New highs could be made here um, relatively quickly um, in the market. We're just, we're an all or nothing market. Either we're running for the doors, either we're running for the doors or we're chasing everything along. There doesn't seem to be anything in between. So just watch that closely and just realize that as we approach those resistance levels, that's where we could see um, that stumble, that place where the bears could attack. So watch that close. We don't want to chase stocks already well extended. Once again, trend in the SPY continues to hold. Now, if we were to draw that trend off of here, notice we broke that trend and we could be rallying right into this double top type pattern resistance. But holding at the 50 day moving average was a very positive thing. So holding there um, with that double, double bottom could push us through to those new record highs. So watch that close. Then if we take a look at the QQQ, QQQ still has considerable amount of work to do. But one of the things that's helping is we're seeing bonds pulling back a little bit. That's helping out here in the NASDAQ and the NASDAQ continues to surge higher. Now, one thing I do wanna point out is just how far we have rallied in such a short period of time. The good news is that we've rallied back above the 50 day moving average, which I thought might be a little bit of a challenge for us to move through, but we just slice through. Again, it's that all or nothing. We just we run for the doors or we race in. And we're pushing this extension pretty far here. Um, and just kind of keep in mind that we will be running into some rather significant price resistance right in here. Uh, today in that possibility that we could pull back to test that 50-day moving average as support. So watch that closely for that possibility. I kind of doubt the QQQ is going to push right on through to new record highs without another rest or pullback coming in this chart because of that significant resistance that we show there. So watch that closely. So still a little bit of a problem here in the NASDAQ. Then if we take a look at IWM, IWM remains to be, uh, remains a little bit of a problem here. Um, if we take a look at that, still underneath its 50 day moving average, our shorter term averages are down through that 50 day and notice that that 50 day is pushing back down. So we've got a challenge here. We may be able to push through this if we can get enough energy. Those financials are holding up. Energies are trying to hold up. Um, those will be significant um, if we're going to rally to the upside. But this seems to be a rather complex price pattern up here with a lot of price resistance. That may be a bit of a challenge for um, IWM to push through. So keep a close eye on that. And back in the day, it used to be that IWM, the Russell would kind of lead the market. Is this kind of giving us a hint or a warning of um, kind of a slower summer to come? Maybe watch that close. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX finally had a pretty good shot of relaxation yesterday, pushing back down. We fell back below our 50 day moving average that's a good sign and depending on where you draw this trend if i draw this here where i get the most touches to this trend then we broke down that little uptrend yesterday and that's a good sign if that can continue to drift lower um, that is what we want to see we also broke down below this level of price support that we'd been kind of holding on to and was kind of a critical area in the chart now we have a little bit of price support in this congestion right down in here that we need to break on through and we could find a little bit of price support in there um, so watch that carefully if the VIX starts to shift back up. If I take this downtrend right through here, now we still have that possibility that we could hold this downtrend as support. Just want, take a look at that 
little support level right through there in those prices. If we were to hold that, we could get that surge back up. And because we've moved up so far in the last several days, I wouldn't rule out the possibility of a little rest or a little pullback at any point in time here. But watch that closely if that were to surge back up. We want it to be restricted by that resistance level. So if we do come back up with a little bit of fear in VIX, a little rest, a little pullback, we want to see that find resistance right in there and continue that slide lower. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our T2122. T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio really interesting yesterday in that we had a massive surge in stocks t2122 barely budged the entire day i can't remember seeing something like that um, in the recent past it's kind of interesting that t2122 just did nothing now what that means is is we had probably about as many companies moving up as we had moving down or sideways and it just kind of drifted along there but what that means is is that we still have upside potential so if we um, mark an area right up in here we have that opportunity that we've got some upside potential before we reach an overbought condition in the market that gives us some flexibility to move on higher if we can find that inspiration today it also tells us that we could have um, if we find some bearish inspiration if those bears attack near resistance areas that we have plenty of room for a downside remove so just kind of keep that in mind it doesn't tell us the direction it just tells us that we have openings on both sides of that chart another thing that just makes me shake my head a little bit is the fact that as we rallied so strongly yesterday the absolute market breadth index continues to decline we're continuing to drop and drop and drop in that market breadth now i'm not exactly sure what that means it is a pretty odd circumstance to continue to see that weakness there as the market continues to surge but keep a close eye on that. Kind of an interesting chart to pay attention to. As we push down here toward these lows, what does that mean? Do we get a surge of bulls coming in or will that be a surge of bears? I don't know. But kind of an interesting chart to be um, aware of. And it kind of um, it just adds that little bit of level of uncertainty um, in the market that makes me go, hmm, I'm just not sure what way we travel from here let's take a look at our economic calendar now our economic calendar we're going to be a little bit busy this morning on that economic calendar or potential market movers we got the case shiller number coming out at 9 a.m so we'll want to pay attention to that we have new home sales coming in at 10 a.m that's probably the one that has maybe the bigger opportunity to move the market remember we've seen housing sales housing numbers starting to pull back builder numbers starting to pull back um, uh, permits starting to pull back and just based on um, the extreme pricing um, out there in the market so watch that closely um, that may have the biggest opportunity to move the market if there's a surprise in that number and then we have consumer confidence consumer confidence is looking for just a little tiny pullback I don't know that that will cause uh, much problem unless there's a big surprise there keep in mind we continue on with the parade of fed speakers they're going to continue on here uh, for the rest of this week so watch that closely let's take a look at our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar a rather light day only about uh, less than 25 companies on the calendar and several of those are unconfirmed however we do have some notables today that are market moving type notable that we'll want to pay attention to so if you want the full list of notables uh, do me a favor click that link right below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog and you can get that full list of notables that I've put in there because I don't think I'm gonna have a chance to cover them all um, AZO AZO will be reporting today kind of keep an eye on that this is one of those stocks that has just been rallying rallying really really strongly and can be a market mover um, when we start looking at those um, 
um, vehicle sales and things like that. So watch that closely. Looks like we're getting a little pop and drop on that earnings report this morning, uh, pressing up into some price resistance. That could be an interesting uh, chart to pay attention to today, if we were particularly if we were to fail through that support. So take a look at AZO. How about um, taking a look at some of the retailers out there? Uh, JWN will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. Um, retail um, has been an interesting um, sector where we've had some really big winners and some pretty substantial losers all at the same time. So keep a close eye on that. We're going to hear from Toll Brothers later today. Now, Toll will be kind of an interesting chart to pay attention to. This is, a, again, that potential top that could be happening in that building sector. Notice we have kind of a well, you have to squint maybe just a little bit, but you see this possible topping pattern that could be coming into play. And if we were to draw out that trend, we had a failure and a challenge of that trend from the downside and failure in that chart. So we're starting to see a little bit of a struggle here in some of these builders. Watch that closely as that reports today. Could be interesting. Um, another retail. Um, Urban Outfitters will be reporting today. Again, either they've been substantial winners or substantial losers, so keep a close eye on that. And the last one I want to bring up is the one that could be um, the big afternoon trade, and that would be INTU. Look at this surge that INTU has had heading into its earnings report. Um, remarkable how how much people are chasing stocks heading into those news events keep a close eye on this as this reports this afternoon could be an interesting market mover for tomorrow morning watch that closely let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you guys could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos and hopefully you see that these videos are just a little bit different than what you might get as a normal diet out there without all the hype and the drama and the prediction I want to be looking at the charts for what they are not for what I want them to be and I want to be focused on the price action of those charts and the simple technicals in that chart and if you find that to be useful please do me a favor click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and also do me a favor take take the link of this video and share it out there on your Facebook or other feed it helps uh, folks find these um, find this content and um, I just want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time. It means the world to me. Also, I haven't said for a couple of days that I need to. I want to say thank you and give a big shout out to those who have been supporting the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link just below the title of the video. Thank you so much, guys. I, I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, it means the world to me. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up for today and please keep in mind that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you have to be doing your own due diligence on these charts and make sure you understand the risk of these trades before you enter let's take a look um, at a couple of charts that i mentioned yesterday um, i mentioned philip morris yesterday as a potential to keep an eye on you can see it breached my alert yesterday and it is trying to move on higher here today. Philip Morris has some upside resistance in this chart coming, but there is a pretty decent upside uh, potential in this chart. Keep an eye on Philip Morris. Once again, these consumer defensive big divvy payers are stocks that continue to hold up and continue to move higher. And I think they're very worth keeping an eye on. Um, they're, they're staying relatively strong or very strong and pushing in these trends. Now, they're not the fast movers. They're the slow, grindy uh, stocks that just move up with nice profits. And I got to tell you, in this market, 
that's something I really favor as we continue to whip back and forth. Notice that in the big sell-off, Philip Morris had very little reaction to that sell-off, stayed very stable as the market showed all that insecurity and continuing to push higher. Take a look at KHC. KHC is another one of those that had very little price reaction to the sell-off and we continue to move higher. KHC looking very, very strong as we continue to worry about um, inflationary pressures. We're seeing lots of pricing increases um, in that food area. So keep a close eye on that. KHC looking strong, continuing to push on higher. You could also go through and take a look at quite a few others in that sector like um, Hershey. Hershey holding up in a beautiful upside trend, continuing to move um, and showing lots of strength. Um, Colgate Palmolive continuing to push on higher, looking very good and strong, pushing into some resistance here in the chart, trying to break through, but watch that closely. Colgate Palmolive looking strong. Take a look at um, stock like um, Schmuckers, SJM. Um, that's been holding up very, very strongly in the nice upside trend. And by the way, these are all that consumer defensive area. Another place you might want to take a look is the consumer staples area. And that would include some of these stocks that I've just mentioned. If you want to take a basket of those, take a look at XLP. It's holding up in this nice trend. Um, now I have a bias here. I do own this and I've added to this trade recently. Um, as a lot of these consumer staples that we know, you know, STZ, TAP, Clorox, GIS, Costco, KHC, JP, or, uh, um, Procter & Gamble, PepsiCo, Coca-Cola, those kind of trades are in this. And if you want to just pick up a basket of those, um, XLP might be a place to look. Other places that you might want to look that continue to look very strong, and that is in the um, drug maker um, area, J&J, &J, Johnson & Johnson looking good, like it may actually try to push on through to a new highs in that stock. Keep an eye on J&J, &J, looking strong. You might want to keep an eye on Pfizer. Pfizer continues to set up in a pattern where it's trying to push on through um, in this upside trend. Watch that closely. It's been holding up quite well. Um, other places to um, keep an eye on would be in the gold and silver area. Take a look at GLD. Gold, very strong, continuing to hold up after breaking through this resistance. This rest or pullback looks pretty good in here. We're holding up very stable in that chart. And silver, silver is trying to hold its upside trend as well. Seeing a little bit, tiny bit of bearishness this morning, but I don't think that's a major problem here as long as we continue to hold onto that trend. So watch that closely in gold and silver. And then you might wanna take a look at the miners. Take a look at Newmont Mining. Beautiful upside trend, tight little consolidation in here. Looking good. Uh, Barrett Gold doing the same kind of little resting consolidation after breaking through resistance, holding up very, very well. And you can see that amongst a lot of those miners out there um, in, in, um, in those sectors. They're just really, really strong. So keep a close eye on those. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Everyone have a good one. We'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.